Okay, now let's see these examples. Huh? Example one, we have region A and region. Uh, I think this one should be region B. Yeah, this one should be region B. So figure above shows uh, refractions of ripples in a ripple tank. If the speed of ripples in region A is 0 0.2, what is the speed of the ripples in region B? Now from the diagram here, can you tell which region uh, the water is deeper? A or B, which one is deeper? Just from this diagram, can you tell which one is deeper region and which one is uh, shallower regions? B is deeper, yes, that's correct, okay? Uh, that is because the wavelength is longer. You can see uh, this one, uh, the wave is very close to each other. It means that the wavelength is shorter. This one, the wavelength is longer. So B is deeper. And they want you, they, they give you the, the distance, uh, okay? The distance of uh, four consecutive, uh, four consequences uh, wavelength, uh, this uh, wave front, uh, uh, this one also. Okay, but this is 7.5 cm, this is 12 cm, okay? And then they ask us to find the speed in uh, region B, yeah? Okay, speed in region A is uh, 0 0.2 meter per seconds. Here the V is equals to 0 0.2 meter per second. Eh? So what's the V here? Find the speed of wave in region B. Leave your answer in cm and then... Uh, uh, for these equations, uh, for these equations, you don't need to change the uh, cm to meter, okay? Because if you change also, the factors will cancel off, uh. okay? But of course, if you're not sure, if you're not sure whether you need to change or, or not, uh, then you better change. If you're not sure, you better change, uh, but actually in this case, you, you don't need to change. Yeah, 0 0.32 meter per second, uh, that's correct. Uh, first of all, let's list down the information that we have. Uh, okay, in uh, region A, this is the shallower regions. Uh, shallower regions. So the speed is 0 0.2 meter per second. And then the wavelength. The wavelength, uh, uh, this is three wavelength, uh, three lambda. Three lambda equals to 7.5 cm. And therefore, the wavelength lambda equals to 7.5 divided by three. Yeah? Uh, 2.5 cm and the speed at the deeper regions here we don't know that's what we want to find and the wavelength uh, 3 wavelength uh, 3 lambda equals to 12 cm so therefore lambda equals to 12 divided by 3 equal to 4 cm and then from the equations we substitute all this uh, value inside the equations then we found that VD equals to 0 0.32 now, if your speed here, Vs, you use meter per second, eh? uh, then your speed Vd is also in meter per second. Why? Eh? That is because if you, this is cm, eh? this is cm, and this cm, eh? this is meter per second. The cm will cancel off. This cm and this cm will cancel off. Eh? So, so uh, leaving the answer meter per second here. So the answer is uh, meter per second. Even though you use cm here, okay, these two, it will cancel off. Huh? So your answer is meter per second. If this is meter per second, then your answer, the v, vd, yeah? vs is in meter per second, your vd is also in meter per second. So the answer is meter per second. Okay, example two, uh, a vibrator vibrates with uh, frequencies of 10 hertz and produces plain water waivers that travel at a velocities of 30 cm per second. Uh, let's list down the information first. Huh? So we have the frequency f equals to 10 hertz and then it's the velocity v equal to 30 cm per second. Uh, this is at deeper regions huh? so we use uh, VD, yeah? VD. When the wave enters a shallow regions, the wavelength becomes 1.5 cm. So the lambda at shallower regions become 1.5 cm. Uh, determine the wavelength of the wave at the deeper regions and the speed of the wave at the shallower regions. Okay, 
So they want us to find the lambda at the deeper regions and also the speed of the wave at the shallower regions. Okay, so that is what they want us to find. Lambda at B, deeper regions, and the speed at the shallower regions. Now what is the speed at the shallower regions? Huh? So tell me what's the wavelength and what's, what's the speed? So the lambda d, yeah, the wavelength at the deeper region is 3 cm and then the speed at the shallower region is 15 cm per second. So we use v equal to f lambda to find the lambda and then we use this formula to find the speed at the shallower regions. Eh? Okay. This is example 3. Yeah? A water wave moves from a shallow region to a deep regions with a velocities of 15 cm per second and 20 cm per second respectively. Okay, let's list down the information first. Uh, at the shallower regions, uh, at the shallower regions, we have Vs equal to 15 cm per second. And then at the deeper regions, we have the speed 20 cm per second. And what is the ratio of the wavelength in the shallower region to the wavelength in the deeper regions? Huh? So what they want us to find is the uh, lambda s to lambda d, yeah? the ratio, lambda s to lambda d. Straight away, let me show you the calculation and give you the answer as well. Uh, from the equations, huh? from the equations vd, over lambda d equal to vs over lambda s. Let's move this lambda s to the left and the vd to the right. And we have the, equa the equations lambda s over lambda d equals to vs over vd. So this lambda s we multiply there and then this vd we multiply here. Okay. So now we have the, the, the ratio, uh, lambda s over lambda d. Vs equal to 15 and Vd equal to 20. Okay. And uh, simplify it, then we get 3 over 4. Uh. So lambda s to lambda d equals to 3 to 4.